Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started so we start with the dixie to take a look at what's going on on the overall trend for the dollar and uh, as you see the uh, the week before last week we've had that uh, bearish engulfing uh, candle that we it got after uh, those uh, NFB numbers and um, that was um, clearly a sign that we might see a continuation. So last week also there was a correction to the upside here as you see and then further downside on Friday once again. So on the daily time frame the sequence is still a bearish as you see with lower lows, lower highs all the way and the last move was a lower low found support here at the level that we expected that dollar might find support at since we have uh, this previous structure down here and monthly S1 found some support pushed higher did a correction a retest basically of this broken structure and then a continuation to the downside for our time frame same scenario let me uh, take off those daily pivot we do not need them uh, same scenario here on the four hour time frame the sequence is still bearish and uh, lower lows and lower highs this was the break during the NFP, found a little bit of a support here, did a retest of the broken structure and continuation. Now the most important level for now, for next week I would say, is the $90. That is the key for next week because below that $90 mark or the monthly S1 area down here, there is one key uh, support waiting and that is uh, this area down here. And this area is very, very old. If we check back here, back in uh, 2008, 2009, 2010, three years in a row, did this act as resistance. And then like back here, 2018, 10 years after that acted as support. So that is a really nice old level. I think if we manage, uh, if the dollar bears manage to break below, next area gonna be 88.50. That is the key level and it could be the key market objective to reach that bottom of this old, big, huge range we have here on the dollar, okay? So checking gold. We see a um, further continuation. We could have uh, been uh, in this uh, correction for a while. Now, as you see, we've been in this correction for a while, but now we have this strong push to the upside, retesting a key area up here. This is gonna be an important level to see what will happen. Going down to the daily time frame, we're gonna see it more clearly why I'm talking about this level. Looking left here, you see how many times this area been acting as both a support and resistance so this will really be key for um, uh, the dollar uh, the sorry the gold bulls if they will continue the main sequence uh, at the moment is still higher highs higher lows higher high higher low and we are now waiting for a break above these previous high if that would be the case i'm thinking further upside especially if the price enter back inside these areas that would mean another retest and maybe further upside toward these levels up here on gold so as for now there is no need, need to reason to think about something else than bullish on gold until we start seeing a sequence of lower lows and lower highs so uh, for now the sequence is higher highs and higher lows on the daily and i think as far as we are above this trend line we should keep looking to buy those dips on uh, this market oil still inside the range here as you see we have this key range uh, we need to keep playing that range until we have a break out of it last week i talked about this to be a potential new range and uh, we had only this here uh, this is where the trading week started. So we had only this low down here and this high. And what I said on my weekly overview that 
keep an eye on this slow down here and we expanded the range to be a pot potential support down here and um, really it did act as support and we find a nice bounce from this area so it is the same play on oil for next week keep uh, um, buying low selling high here inside this range waiting for some kind of a break out of it as far as the price is inside there is no reason to do something else than playing the edges of the range Euro USD also still uh, in a bullish momentum uh, nothing has changed the sequence is higher highs and higher lows we've had a retest of this uh, area here back um, been tested back here as sport did act as sport and last Thursday and Friday a strong continuation to the upside so uh, for our time frame this is the new range for now short term range this was uh, last week trading here from uh, this here so uh, this is the range from last week and um, that is for now um, sideways but in my opinion if we see a break above uh, this double top here a break above this double top would signal further upside on this market um, otherwise if uh, the bears start uh, trying again give you a double top then you might see a little bit of a move back down maybe toward this area so those are the closest levels to work with this previous high these previous lows or the lows down here just above the monthly pivot point those are the playground on this market for next week so again if we break higher look for a retest look for continuation otherwise play it sideways until you have a breakout on this market sterling usd also still bullish for now especially after the break out of this key range area we've had a strong break we've had a retest and we might see further continuation to the upside maybe to tag this previous high especially if the dixie keep moving lower so i'm thinking potentially bullish next week so we had a very very strong push here we've got this um, head and shoulder formation it which make a correction and then retest and now we have continuation to the upside so for next week i'm watching to see if we're gonna get some kind of another higher low here and then further upside all in all if this market would keep pushing lower like this once again i will really really keep an eye on this monthly r1 and this previously broken structure see how many times it's been tested as resistance this is a very interesting level i will, will i will be watching this and looking for a bounce from this area instead usd jappy also um, looking good for the bulls again so we had this break to the downside so this break here did invalidate the bullish momentum we had oops sorry for that the bullish momentum we had here after the break below this that did invalidate it but now after the retest we've got a nice push here a higher low and we're waiting to see if we'll see a break above if that would be the case next week and we get a break above 109.70 i'm looking for a retest and further continuation to the upside this market is still uh, in a very nice shape on the weekly time frame so you had a huge move to the upside you had the 38.2 fibonacci retracement and it is not impossible to say that we might see continuation on this market so that's what i'm looking for but we wait and see if 109.70 uh, gonna be broken next week or not usd chief uh, the uh, sequence is uh, bearish as you see lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs last move was a strong break to the downside another lower high and now what we wait for is to see a break below monthly s1 down here retest and then further downside there is no need to to do something else or to think about something else until we start seeing a sequence of at least one higher high here above previous high here and one higher low down here somewhere that would potentially change um, at least short term for a bullish but as for now there is no need to think about something else more than keep selling those rallies any rally or some kind of a bearish flag something like this try to sell those um, is my main idea and that's what i'm looking for usd cat also same scenario checking the weekly time frame very bearish market also same here i have no reason to think about something else and i think at least we're gonna tag these lows down here on this market the question is now after this huge move to the downside 
how much of a correction are we getting is this market going to go all the way up here toward monthly pivot point before it start moving or it will do a shallow correction and then further downside that is the main problem always uh, with trading yeah to know how much the market will correct as you see here this looked very good we've got a higher low and then things start slowing slowing and then we continued lower instead of making a bull flag and break higher which was many traders was expecting this to start happening and i've been saying there's no need to think about that since the last move was lower lows lower highs and there was no structure change and still that is still the same and looking at the daily time frame we had a couple of days bullish now then a bearish day i mean next week if we keep following this market on the lower time frame and i start seeing something slow like this a range or something like that i will try to work on a break to the downside to trade that okay otherwise if this market would do a retest of these structure up here that would be also be welcome because that could also be another level to try a short from so i'm short on this uh, only for now also usd still inside the range nothing new we had this fake out then the market pushed strongly to the downside and as i always say and as i said last week in my weekly overview there is no need to do anything else as far as we still have the range intact been tested many times why to guess or to do something else it was a clear buy down here at the bottom of the range limit uh, order or something and then you have a nice bounce to the upside would be the same case for next week as well i will keep waiting to see if this will give us a sell from here or not okay until it break out now if they do something like this we see a break above the range a nice retest or a higher low and then we look for further upside to tag previous high as well and if the case would be something like this a strong break below we wait for a correction and then we look for further downside pretty straightforward there is no need to think about uh, anything else at the moment uh, usd new zealand, new, zealand, new zealand same scenario here we check this uh, range the bottom is uh, down here being tested a couple of times three times at least we have the top here being tested also couple of times at least so even here we have a market that been going sideways buy low down here sell up here wait a break out and then follow up or wake a break to the downside and follow up so trade inside range for now buy low sell high wait for breakouts if you want to follow one direction and that is in my opinion um, on the daily time frame right now pretty hard to predict because after this nice momentum we start going sideways so we need to see is it gonna break to the upside to retest these highs or are we gonna get a break to the downside to retest these lows because we have an even bigger range that we could play here on the longer time frame which is this one okay so those are uh, my plans on these markets for the upcoming week i hope you guys uh, find these videos uh, helpful and if you do do not forget to hit that like button if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe see you next sunday bye bye